Josh from Bondline Trains with a new YouTube video and new series. Our new series, the Golden Standard Series, is now live because you're watching this video. I gotta introduce the two locomotives that will be in this challenge and for the first episode. Our first locomotive, a lot of people said the 682 will win this. I have my doubts, but... I kind of have to agree, these turbines do have a lot of pulling power. And a lot of people did say this mighty 736 and any 736 that they have were really powerful as well. This is going to be a very interesting lineup as both of these locomotives has a long history with Lionel. And I can't say any more. You guys are just going to have to watch this video through to find out who truly won. So, let's begin. Time trial, no cars. First up, Lionel Electric Trains 1950-1951, 736 Berkshire. All these engines were set to about 9.5 volts. 736 is going great off the bat. Uh, no wheel shortage. Some of the time these engines have a tendency to have wheel shortage. Not this one, I guess. Let's see how... Ooh, 12 seconds. That is a great top first lap. A little bit slower. 22 seconds. We're going to get... Ooh, that engine's moving fast. Let's see what the final time will be. 32.09. That is a great time. Now for the 1954, 1955, 6A2 turbine. All right, little bit of wheel shortage. They got that engine going. That or who did? Very great. Let's see how that puts on. Ten seconds. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very good. Twenty seconds. Really good. Proving to be better than the six, seven thirty six. And 28 seconds, not too bad. Let's see how fast it's up to model. Oh, there was some uh, slowage on the speed. They're going to have to look at that. And that's going to affect it. 43, 22 seconds. Bad time for the 6A2. 736 had a 3209. Now, I heard, did hear we have some footage of the switching operations for the cars that they're using. Whoa! That's a little bit too hard, in my opinion, but we need to figure out whoever's running that switching operation needs to figure out what speed is. That really could have hurt somebody. Look at hurt that guy. And they uncoupled, and I do believe they're going to get some more box cars. Hope they don't do what they did to that guy again. Now, first up, the 736. Here's the main attraction. Great first start off for the 736. Hope they keep it up. There it goes. Oh, second camera. Really good speed. Really great time. I believe that was 15 seconds. That could be wrong. Good. 28 seconds. Great time. Let's see what the caboose has to say. 34.59. That is a great time for this locomotive. Moving on from that, now for the 682. I did hear they looked over that locomotive and they couldn't find anything wrong. A little bit of wheel slippage, but I don't think it's going to affect it that much. This locomotive is built for speed. I don't know about freight service. Maybe after this, the railroad might be able to consider it for freight teams. 15 seconds, not a bad time. What counts is that caboose crossing that finish line. If it doesn't, the engine will be disqualified. And the final time will end up being. Looks like this locomotive does have some uh, trouble. 35 seconds. 
the 6A2 was a little bit faster uh, this time ago, ago than its lap time. But it wasn't enough to beat the 736. 736 had a time of 34.59. And the 6A2 had a time of 35.83. Now I'm going to send real life or live version of me uh, an overview of both these locomotives. Alright, thank you commentary me. I don't know why I said um, moving on. But... That's not uh, the point. point is about our winner, the 736 Berkshire. It's proved to be one of the most uh, best engines so far out of this Golden Standard uh, series for pulling power. Speed is not its b suit. That it goes to the 682, which is up here at the turbine graveyard, or the engine graveyard. As the engine will be getting looked over as it has proved a couple of times that it needs some work. But 736 is the crown champ. And I kind of hope that it was because that same year that it, this locomotive was made, another locomotive was made. And you guys kind of have seen it. In the black loan, I don't run it a lot, but here it is, the 2343 uh, Santa Fe F3, this locomotive will be going against the uh, 736 Berkshire. Both of these were made at the same year. Hopefully, this one proves to be a little bit uh, faster. I have... Well, hopes for it as these old F3s have a tendency to be really, really slow. Um, with mine, um, I've had it over a year and I have had it taken apart. There will be one thing that will be different about this locomotive is that it has no light as the light sockets are a little bit messed up at this current time. That's all I have to say for now, as I got other and better projects coming soon. Um, just wanted to tell you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And we got our new crown champ. 736 will definitely be going on the uh, wall of fame, which will be coming here soon. As I got a work, uh, I got a shelving thing that's coming up there uh in the next couple of days hopefully it's just been built so that being said this is bar line trains signing off for another video <laughs>